In this video, we'll go into a little bit more detail about elements and subsets. Let's review the notation that we introduced earlier. If we want to say that something is in an element of a set, we use this notation. Here, we are saying that the number 5 is an element of set A. If you want to say that something is a subset of another set, we use this notation. Notice that in addition to replacing the element symbol with a subset symbol, we also added braces around the element. This indicates that we are discussing a subset rather than an element. It would be incorrect to write it this way, because the left hand side is just an element rather than a subset. On the other hand, a subset can be an element of a set. For example, if we define set A like this, it would be correct to say that the set containing 3 is an element of set A. Notice that we have replaced the number 3 with a set that contains the number 3. The set of 3 is an element of set A, but if we remove the braces, this statement is no longer correct. In this case, 3 is not an element of set A, only the set containing 3 is an element. Now this is where the notation can get a little tricky. If we want to specify the set containing 3 as a subset of set A, we would do it like this. Notice that this time, we have two braces on each side. The inner pair of braces refers to the set that contains the number 3. The outer pair of braces indicates that whatever they contain is a subset of A. So here we are saying that the set containing 3 is a subset of set A. Now if we look at the set again, we can see that elements 1, 2, 4, and 5 are not sets. So if we want to specify a subset containing these elements, we only use one pair of braces. For example, here we have defined a subset of set A that contains element 2. Since 2 itself is not a set, we only use one pair of braces. Similarly, we can also define a subset that contains 1 and 2, or 1, 2, 4, and 5. Notice that these only use one pair of braces. We can also define this subset. In this case, we have a subset of set A that contains 2, 4, and the set that contains 3. Notice that we are still treating the set that contains 3 as just another element. Let's look at another set. In this case, B is a set that contains two elements. Those elements are the empty set and the set that contains the empty set. This set also contains four subsets. The empty set, a set containing the empty set, a set containing the set containing the empty set, and the complete set itself. Notice that when we are dealing with the empty set, we don't use braces to indicate that the empty set is a subset of A. This is because the empty set is already a set. And when dealing with a set that contains the empty set, we only use one pair of braces. Remember that this is slightly different from how we define subsets for set A. For set A, we need a pair of braces to show that the subset containing two is a subset of set A and we need two pairs of braces to show that set, the set of three is a subset of set A. So in this video, we've gone into a little bit more detail about elements and subsets. In the next video, we'll look into determining the cardinality of a set.